Hi, I'm Professor E. Welcome to the Robot Program. In this episode, we'll introduce the do-it-yourself developer options of Easy Robot. Let's join DJ in the studio to learn more. You can see that we have a lot of visitors in the studio today. Look at all these different robots that we have. DJ, can you tell us something about these robots? Yeah, I'm excited for this episode today because I built all these robots using the Easy Robot Developer Kit, the Easy BV4 controller, or of course the brand new IO Tiny. So they're all working robots. They all move, they all do things. They do, they all do stuff. In fact, when you walk into Easy Robot, all of our history of our robots are actually displayed. So people are always coming and asking questions. Do these things work? And I'm always turning them on. Kind of like a little mini Easy Robot museum. Like an Easy Robot Art do. gallery. Yeah. Great. Well, why don't you show us what they do? Definitely. And we can open up these later, right? And show yeah, people what's yeah, inside absolutely. the boxes. Okay, I'll put these down here for the time being. And which one do we want to see first? How about, you know what? How about Wally? Let's start with Wally. So we, we've okay. got a lot of characters here from a lot of popular sci fi fantasy movies or films. So we're starting with yep. the Disney film, Disney Pixar. Mm -hmm. Our little so robot named Wally. He's a pretty friendly looking character. Can, can you tell us how you built him? Yeah, definitely. So this was the first robot that I built using the IO Tiny. And it's pretty exciting. Let me see if I can use this camera over here so you can see what's inside. Um, you can see there's a battery in there, there's a speaker, and as well as if I turn this around and get in there, you'll see that there's an IO Tiny right, right in here. You can see it right there. And he's got some, some servos plugged into him, and a speaker, and a camera, and uh, yeah, he's, he's great. So he's got his little battery charging cable down here, and of course he's got a switch to turn him on and off. So we'll power him up here. You hear him boot up. And I made an app for him, which you can see in this camera. We will load the app, and of course it's Wally -E right here. And we'll connect to his Wi-Fi network. He's got the sound effects and everything. Sounds just like the character. Yep, and I'm not sure if you can hear it, but he's also playing a soundtrack in the background. So with the controls here, I can move his arms. And as well as I can drive him. And move his head. Isn't that great? That's terrific. So you took a Wally -E toy That's right. from the store and yep. you used the Easy Robot Developer Kit and all those easy bits to put this together. I did. And one of my favorite features is if you smile at him and I push this button right here, make sure you can see it. Aw, <laughs> thanks Wally. -E. <laughs> so he can take a photo and save it on my phone. And he can also do this motion, which I think is pretty funny. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta so cute. Yeah. And as well as all of like just being able to remote control them, I also have them set up so that I can use the red, color red. The color red, color our red. famous robot tracking color here. So I'll turn on his servo tracking here so he can track the color red. And when he sees it, he gets excited and he starts following the color red. And then I take it away. <laughs> oh, he's he still looking sad. for it. Now yeah. he's sad. And then I, as well as this, I can also turn on motion tracking here. And he'll actually follow it as if he's driving. Oh, over here. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here, let's turn him around. You want me to take him? Turn around the corner. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And of course, he's seeing the dialect right now. and He wants to chase him. <laughs> Oh, that's great. So that's Wally. What do you think? He looks great. He's, he's a lot of fun. So you're bringing, bringing one of your favorite Disney characters to life. Yep, most definitely. So what other robot do you want to see next? All right, so let's move from our uh, little space guy here to the rest of our space robots. I know. I have a How huge about space our, obsession, uh, don't I? Our Doctor Who character over here, our okay. Dalek. Okay. This is the Dalek from Doctor Who. This was originally a model toy, so I've received email from people who were upset that I took something that they call a collector's item and <laughs> hacked it into a, into a robot. But when you see what he can do, I think you're going to be really impressed. Um, it took me about, 
I guess it was about six hours, six or eight hours to build this on a Friday night. Um, originally, I did it a couple years ago, but I re redid it again with an Iotani inside of him. And he has a lot of functionality as well. So let's load up. So he's gone through a couple iterations then? He did. The first version used a different version of the EZB from a couple years ago. And then a, maybe three months ago or so, I took this and revamped it into the IOTiny version. So let me load up the app that we created for this guy. There's a Dalek there. And we'll connect to his Wi-Fi network. So again, you have created all these control apps using the Easy Builder software. These, all these apps were created using Easy Builder. So they're all custom apps for your own robots that you've created. You got it. So this joystick here, make sure you can see in the camera here. This joystick here moves his plunger and his laser around. And then of course this one allows me to move back and forth and also up and down. And if you can see in this camera, you can also see that you can see what the, uh, the dialect is seeing. There's our, there's our video guy, Andreas, waving. And then we can push, for example, this button here and make them the dialect cry. And I can also push the, uh, the button here on the control and start playing the Doctor Who theme song. Nice. Isn't that great? <laughs> So you can even see where you've added the camera in so that he gets that peripheral information. Yep. And of course, he has the same ability to do color tracking and face recognition and everything else as, of course, all the other easy robots. And here's some of the sounds that he can play. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Great. So you've, you've managed to put in a lot of the personality into this robot as well. Definitely. So we can power him down. And of course, which one next? We got All right, so we're moving to Star, Star Wars. Wars what the light side or the dark side first? Ooh. I don't know. You choose. All right. Let's, let's go light side first. Light side. You know, I guessed, I guessed you were going to say light Did side. Did you? Yeah. It's because it's raining and snowing today in Calgary, so we need we some sunlight. We need a sunlight. little light. So here's our light. So this, this RTD2, it's really interesting, the story behind this one, because there's a comic expo in Calgary every year. And when Easy Robot first started, uh, they invited us to display some of our robots. And I thought, wouldn't it be a great idea to have a live hack where I would take a robot, a toy, and turn it into a real robot live over the two-day Comic Expo. So that's what I did. And this is the robot that I built. Now, it has changed since then. Uh, this robot is also, again, running the IO Tiny. So a couple iterations again. That's right. And don't worry, you will see a robot running the EZB V4 when we get to the at at, right? Is it at at, not at at? George Lucas says it's at at, so that's what we're going with. Perfect. So there's actually, it's interesting if you look at the video where I built this, because inside is a water bottle from the conference where I used it to attach to his dome to a servo so I could move the dome back and forth. There's a hot glued water bottle that I had drank it out of and put it inside of this robot. So it's, it's kind of it's neat. So there's a switch here to power him up. And I also modified him a little bit in the sense that he has some display and LEDs in the front here. So a little bit different than the original. And his camera, which is in his dome, can move up and down. So I will demonstrate that. So let's load up his app, RTD2. Here it is. And of course, we'll connect to his Wi-Fi. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good, we got our sound effects again. That's perfect. We do. And of course, as you can see here in this video, in this uh, screen here, we can see the camera moving back and forth. And I can move the camera up and down as well. There we go. And he has a bunch of different sounds. And he can change his display for a few different, you can see here, a few different animations. You see that? Mm-hmm. And we can play some music. Uh, let's see. Let's do the Star Wars theme song. Oh, he really moves. He does. He's a racing R2. <laughs> He's got places to be. He does. He likes his Papa Wheelies. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> That's great. 
And he also has the ability to record audio as well. So for example, I can click um, in here, in this little microphone here, and why don't I get you to say something in here? Help me, Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Oh, how fitting. And now we can press play on that. Help me, Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's great. So this is, uh, that's RTD2. Now, who do we see next? There's All right, only one last left. but not least. Okay. Why don't you bring him over here? I know, he's heavy, isn't he? He's he is bulky. a little bit heavy. I'm just going to move the Dalek out of the way. Out of the way, Dalek. You're being replaced with the ATAT. At, at. At, That's right. at, at, yeah. At. Yes. So we're going to connect to his Wi-Fi here, of course. So he's another toy that you've hacked. He's in a toy hacked. Let me uh, just connect to him and I'll give you a quick rundown of how this guy works. There we go. Okay, so come over to me. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> I love him. So I built this one because I don't have a pet dog. I don't have any pets at home. And I thought, wouldn't it be neat to actually have like an at-at walker walking around my house? And that's just what I did. So he has a, here you can see on the camera, he has a winch that I can actually bring down and of course and bring back up. Just make sure that we Stop it in the right place. And if you want to take a look on another video where we actually built, where I built him, uh, you can see all the hot glue I used. There's probably, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds of hot glue in this guy. Hold them together. But his head is fully functional, left and right, and uh, up and down, as well as he can do a bunch of different things. Like he can, um, let's see, he can dance. Oh, the Cantina song, my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? And here, this one's just for you. Shake a paw. Oh, he's gonna shake my paw. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yep. And let's see, I'll bring him over here. I'll... And this one always gets quite a laugh. He's marking his territory. <laughs> It's robot territory. <laughs> yes, he is. And if he ever needs to get any of the bad guys, he can shoot them. Great. <laughs> yeah. It's funny though, because when I built him, I went through a ton of different videos on the internet about how these things walk and watched, you know, them attacking, uh, you know, everybody in the, in the, in the snow. And I thought the snow is probably the best place for them to walk because they can slide a little bit. Because mm -hmm. making him turn is really, really difficult. There is no way for him to really physically turn. There's when they designed this robot, they didn't think of that. So I had a lot, a lot of trouble making him turn. So he doesn't turn very well. I could, I could try demoing it here. Well, it's interesting. We have art imitating real life here. Yeah. So he's turning slowly, just kind of limping along there, and then now he can start walking forward. So snow is probably the best place for this guy, even though I think he's in the desert too in Rogue One. So who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I did leave a space up here for, you know, the bad guys to sit in there and drive them. Yep. Yep. All right. So. Yeah, he's definitely pretty great, isn't he? He's excellent. Mm -hmm. So he's that's, bigger than my dog. He is. So that's, of course, the uh, at, at or at at. Right, as George Lucas wants us to call them. And then lastly, before I think we get into the EZBV4 and Yarutani, maybe we can talk about the InMove here. So a lot of you are probably wondering what's behind us, why we have this crazy looking robot back here. This is actually an InMove robot. Like, well, you can barely make it out here in the black. This robot was originally designed as a bunch of 3D printable parts um, from somebody in, in France. Um, and he created this as a project, an open source project, which our community has adopted and taken uh, a lot of, of interest in it. And they have, of course, been adding our controller to it. So if you turn this guy around, 
you'll see that the EZB uh, V4 controller is actually inside of him, as well as a battery pack, lots of wires, and some pretty big servos. And then up here in his eye, they've added the camera. So this particular robot, if you, uh, if you want to look on our website, you'll find out it was built by somebody, one of our community members, Richard R. And when he designed this, he made a video of it pouring a glass of wine in his kitchen for his wife. So this robot's navigating through their kitchen and it picks up a decanter of wine and carries it through the kitchen and pours it into a wine glass and hands it to his wife. You guys can't see from there, but he's actually on wheels. So, you know, really move around a house efficiently. It's a base of a wheelchair that he's actually mounted to. Really? It is. It's Interesting. Right. It kind of looks yeah. like something from iRobot. It does. It's like Sonny's been turned into a butler. Yeah, he's, he's pretty neat. So uh, Richard, Richard R. Uh, gave him to Easy Robot, of course. We have him inside of our facility. And he greets people at the door when, when you come in and visit first us. First thing that you see. It's the first thing you see. And then you see all these, plus a bunch of old Tommy robots in the 80s as well. We've seen all these cool different projects that you can do with the Easy Robot Developer Kit. So let's take a look at the kit itself in more detail now. Yeah, I happen to have one here, and it's brand new too. Brand new, never been opened. Brand new, still in its in its shrink wrap. So let me do that. Ooh, this is fun. I've never done this before. No. I have never opened an, a developer kit from a shrink wrap before. It's my very first one. In fact, go. I got my very first JD robot just the other day when I was in China. We were at our factory, and I took it right off, right off the press, right off the grill. Yeah, it was great. It felt felt excellent. So I'm not sure if there's a sticker or anything. There doesn't seem to be. So let's open this guy up here. So of course you grab it by its sides. And there we go. See the camera frame? Yeah. So we see a couple of familiar looking pieces, but also some new stuff. Yeah, there's there's a few new things. So of course the starter guide, you always need the getting started guide. Getting started guide, lots of important information. Mm -hmm. And then have some stickers, of course. You want to decorate? So decorate your car, whatever. So this is the Easy B V4, it's the controller itself. And this is the power base for it. it, plugs into that. And then there's a Dean's connector here, not a Dean's connector, sorry, a barrel jack that you would connect your battery pack to. So we've got our, our robot controller brain, we've got its base here, and we've also got its power source, batteries. You bet. And then in here you have a whole bunch of different adapters, and you have some extra peripheral cable wires. These are servo adapters, by the way. So for example, if you look at uh, the robot here, the, the WALL-E robot, you can see where I've attached its arm, make sure mm -hmm. the camera can see, that I would have used these little adapters that you clip onto the, onto the servos. And this is, of course, uh, the newest servo that Easy Robot manufactures. This is the HDD, which is the heavy duty digital servo. So these servos are the ones that don't make any noise and they're very, very powerful and have protection so they don't burn out because they monitor the temperature and they also monitor the current draw. And we also, of course, have in the center here the camera, which you can plug into your controller to give your robot vision for tracking colors, tracking objects, and even be able to tell if you're happy or sad. So we're bringing in peripheral information. So you can do all sorts of different processing and programs with that. These servos are a little different than the other servos. These ones have 360 written on them, which means they'll rotate 360 degrees. In which case, these are the wheels that you would attach to these servos so that you can have wheels to drive your robot around. So 360 degrees of movement for your wheeled robot control. And lastly, this is the distance sensor, which is an ultrasonic distance sensor. This uses sound, much like the way a bat works, using sonar, bing, 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 and then it receives it through the other side here, and you plug this with one wire directly into your controller, and your robot can navigate around and understand where it is so it doesn't get stuck. I love ultrasonic sensors. They're, they're pretty cool. I've done quite a few projects with those, and you can, you can really find out a lot of cool stuff. They are. They're definitely a lot of fun. So we'll put this one away because there's also this kit, but available just inside of the controller itself. So you don't get any servo, you don't get a camera, you just get the controller itself. So let's open this guy up. Oh, this is so much fun opening all these brand new, brand new controllers up here. Nice. And... Ooh, and there it is. Nice and new. So if you just order just the controller, you can buy just that to experiment with if you have your own servos, if you have your own motors, and you just want to, uh, to, use, to reuse what you already have. Take advantage of all the processing power that's inside of the controller. You bet. And lastly, I want to demonstrate 
This little guy. I'm sure you can even get him in there. Can we even zoom in? Yeah. Is it okay if I operate the camera, Andres? I got permission. So this is the IO Tiny. This is the tiny little EZB, which has eight digital ports, analog ports, camera port. This is also an I2C port. And then inside of the bag here, which I'll take out and show you how to connect it. Just plug it right into here. This is, there you go, a speaker. So you can have real-time streaming audio from your mobile device or from your computer to control your blinds or control a robot or control light switches or you can te technically control anything at all. And it's very compact. It even has a power supply built into it. So you can give it um, a variety of voltages. I believe the lowest voltage is around four volts and the highest voltage is somewhere around 20, but you should check the data sheet just to make sure. And it will, uh, it will actually regulate that voltage and it'll provide you the, the voltage you'd require on the ADC ports as well as the camera and I2C. So this little guy is really powerful and we just saw that right now it is what's controlling these three. It is. So you can do all sorts of things. And this is the Easy Robot camera. Uh, of course you can get it in this plastic, unlike you saw with the developer kit. The developer kit is just the circuit board and you can plug this into the IOTiny and give the IOTiny instant camera feedback. Isn't that awesome? Awesome, so just another source of peripheral information. That's right. So those are the three different uh, developer kits and ways you can do it yourself robot build that Easy Robot provides. And of course, don't forget, you can use Easy Builder to control and program all of these different developer options, the Easy BV4, the IO Tiny, and make a robot. Oh, and make your own app. Make your own app with the mobile phone and you can Take over the world with all your robots. Take over the world. In this episode, we demonstrated some of the special projects that were created using the DIY Easy Robot components. You can create your own robot at home using the Easy Robot Developer Kit, or you can get just the EZB Robot Controller to control your robotics projects or you can even experiment with the IO Tiny. If you want to learn more about how to hack your own robot, stay tuned for future episodes. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. Which kit contains easy bits for customization? True or false, the EZB controller can be purchased separately. Which board is great for tiny projects? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.